I'm Brian. I'm Debbie. And we are the Buffalo Bourbon Enthusiasts. This is our third matchup of the tournament. What tournament, Deb? The 110 proof in a <laughs> tournament. 110 to 120 <laughs> proof. She likes it when I just bring stuff at her. <laughs> Stick around and find out what's going to be in the draw this time. Yes. All right, we're back and Deb's got some to choose from. And hopefully I didn't screw it up. I almost screwed it up the other day when I was moving things and I'm like, this doesn't seem right. And somehow he would blame me. So I, I had to go. I had to go look at the numbers. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice darky. We haven't had a too much. Haven't had a high um, <laughs> a high draw yet. A high number, a high seed. But not saying that what we had isn't good. It's just we haven't had a high seed. Oh yeah, let's just go uh, look at the colors, and then we're going to come back for our initial. I think that might be a good one. <laughs> Even Steven. You know what? Stick around for our initial <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> All right, we're back. The left's a little darker. And yeah, it looks darker when it's on the table. Hope I don't drop these. And when they're off the table. All right, let's go in. We really should let him sit a while at that nose, really. Woo, woo. That proof Ooh. hit me on that one. One on the right. No, the one on the left. Maybe it caught me by surprise. You're, you're drinking already. Initial thoughts. Mmm. Mmm. This one. Oh, this one's nice. This one on the right smells yeasty. These are these are gripping too. Gripping. Gripping. Oh my god. That is good. I, I'm dying to get back into it. It's, it's nice and sweet. I wouldn't say caramel and stuff, you know. I'm always gonna say fruit just to mess with you. I already know which one I like better. First one? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. It smells like a yeast bomb. Oh no, it? it um medicinal. Medicinal, like Medicinal yeast. yeast. This this could be the Woodenville. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just smelling nasty. Watch it be the Weller <laughs> in, 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 in the Woodenville morphed into uh, um, uh, eucalyptus, like you know, licorice to something just bad. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I think that's the Woodenville. I am getting some of that eucalyptus. It doesn't taste as bad as it smells to me. Yeah, it smells pretty bad. Yeah. The taste is better. Not much. <laughs> Not compared to this one. Well, you know, it depends what you like. Maybe we just don't like, like that eucalyptus. You like yeast. <laughs> that eucalyptus, uh, you know, um, licorice kind of taste. Then, Herbally kind of thing. Yeah, then, you know, you're not going to like oh, but this. this one. How can you compare tasty all right we think we already know what it is but we're gonna go yeah, in deeper been wrong all along, so. we're gonna go in deeper we're gonna rate these I, I think I'm gonna like this one better than she does all right we're back as you can see I have a lot of this one left yeah I don't think our decision changed <laughs> from what we like and don't like so let's talk about this one that we that I said I think is the Woodenville. You go. On the nose, it's very yeasty, like when you're making bread or you're going Subway and it has that odor on the palate. Whatever, it's just, I, I don't care if it tastes like medicinal, floor polish, just nasty. I, I'm not even going to drink it. Okay, so when I was first smelling this, the, the nose was the most offensive thing I've ever smelled before in my life. Oh, really? In a bourbon. <laughs> okay. 
I exaggerate. <laughs> and uh, then I sip it and I'm like, eh. But as I just kept sipping and sipping and sipping it, I actually found it quite enjoyable. So like Limburger. So, well, I did find Limburger enjoyable <laughs> after I finally tried it. Um, so maybe the hate I'm bringing on it isn't warranted. It's one of those you need numerous acclimation sips, I think. Not you, but me. And that eucalyptus you're getting kind of melds in. There is actually some sweetness in there. And it's actually quite enjoyable. Okay, so I did, I did enjoy that after about two or three sips. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't as disgusting as I remember or as my initial Well, if it is, what it If it's not, whatever it is, I don't like it. Okay. Now, the other one. That I find... That, honestly, on the nose, I don't get too much. Just a little. On the palate, I get some sweetness, like mocha-y almost. And at the end, almost like flowery. It's kind of not flower you bake with, but like petal flowers I usually don't like, but in this, I like it. Like a lot. Okay, so no, I'm insane. Um, at first, I'm getting a chocolate, but it's like a very light milk chocolate. Like, you know how, how you got those percentages of cocoa in there? You know what well, I that's mean? That's what I mean when I say mocha. Right, so I'm saying it's really light, right? And then it's as... Good finish. And, and on, on one of the sips, I'm sitting there, and I really wasn't thinking about it and i'm like i think i got a little bit of coconut there right and deb's coconut? like coconut okay. yeah just a little bit like just a little think a little bit of coconut and then so i take another sip and i'm sitting there and i'm like hmm this tastes like chocolate like an a little <laughs> little marshmallow and just like faint coconut so you know i'm equating this to hmm. a mallow cup Ah. Yeah, we get those from his mother all the time. Yes. Don't even, don't even know where they make them. <laughs> I used to save the little uh, coin things and you, I don't even know what you could turn them in for, to be honest with Prize you. Prizes. Yeah. All right, so that's what I get off of this. Um, stick around for our rating and the reveal. <laughs> all right, we're back. And I got a feeling Deb wants to smash me because I said I like this one. <laughs> and once, were on par. And, 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 and once, <laughs> once she sees my rating, she might actually punch me. But well, the camera's rolling, so I'll have witnesses. <laughs> we need you to smash that like button. Subscribe to the station. And ring the bell for notifications. Uh, I don't have a bell. I'm ding a ling -less. I'll ring your bell when I see your rating. <laughs> Ooh, let's start with the one that we liked. Want a rating on it first? Give me a rating. Four. Swill. Drain pour. I wouldn't even use this as a mixer. And I'm not even drinking it. I'll use it as a weed killer. It's the lowest we go. I've never given anything a four. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Everybody watch. You're going to witness an assault here. I gave it a 7 point five. Oh my god, you're insane. <laughs> I am not going to take a sip of this now. I'll save it for later. Here, you can dump yours in a bag. Sure. I'll drink it later tonight. All right. The other one. This one, I gave it 8.2. I enjoyed this. And I will take yours. Let's say give you mine. Oh my god, I'm going to sip it. <laughs> I gave mine an 8.3. So we're simpatico I, I think you should take another sip you you might like that no <laughs> maybe it, i'll try it tonight after it sits for an hour but it's not gonna change my mind it's bad yeah. mm. Mm -hmm. that's so good that is good this is different and i did enjoy it i'm not gonna lie and I probably could have bumped it up to an eight, but I didn't want to get beat. Oh, my God, Brian. You're insane. No, because it, it tasted better as I was sipping on it. All right. We might as well reveal, the, reveal these. The bad one first? The bad one first. Let me see. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God, Brian. She's trying to fake me out. No, no. Dirty Helen. 
This one? Yeah. Is Dirty Helen. Ten. Dirty Helen. Wow. I wasn't crazy about it, but I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I, what number is it? Ten. Ten. Oh. What number is this? Six. Nine. I, I got to tell you, I was enjoying it. Ooh, Russell's 13, which I usually don't like. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. All right. Sorry. Yeah. Let's see if we get some cherries off of this thing. Wow. I got mocha and I got flour. If there is cherries in there, it is really hidden. This was tasting nice and sweet. I don't remember the Dirty Holland taste in this bag. Sorry, Jason. Mm. Even before I knew what it was, I said I was enjoying it, right? I said as I was drinking it, it was getting better. So you can't hate me. Hate me. You can hate her. Hate me all you want. I don't like it. All right. I'm just wondering what that Woodenville's going to taste like. <laughs> I thought 100% sure that was the Woodenville. Me too, because I don't, I don't remember anything tasting that bad on that list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, the blinds are now I feel bad. For what? Oh, <laughs> all right. So leave a comment below if you think we're crazy. Um, At least you know the Russell 13 is good. Yeah, the, um, the Dirty Helen, if you had it before. Jason, we apologize. Uh, Ryan liked it. Let us know. Yeah, it grew on me, right? It, it had some funky eucalyptus thing going on, but it got better. Uh, and it got sweet. I enjoyed it. I actually, I, actually, I, I actually was afraid to have it beat this one because Deb would have really beat me up. No, I didn't like it that much, but I did like it. And the Russell's 13. The, the flavor notes I get, were getting off of it were weird. And I don't know if that was the power of suggestion because I was thinking that this was the wooden bill. Maybe. Sometimes you think things and then your mind is like, you know, trying to, uh, you know, play tricks on you. Oh, well. Thank you for watching. And remember, bourbon is for sharing. Share this video. We'll share the Dirty Helen with you. <laughs> Just ask. <laughs> this was enjoyable. Russell's 13. Usually we're not a fan of it. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Deb, you want my backwash? <laughs>